we got asked if we would submit a song for this new TV show they're doing called King of the Hill. So I called up the band and said, look, I need 30 seconds of music. That's just fun, upbeat, fast. And we'll give it to Mike Judge for his new cartoon. We got the VHS on the road and it, it was all black and white. No voices, no music, no nothing, just some animated Hank Hill. And I didn't know who that was, so I blew it off. And weeks go by and I don't get any music. Well, the only information there was was that it was the writer from Beavis and Butthead. We were told it was gonna be a family in Texas. And when I saw that, I was like, we will win this, right? And we were up against Mark Mothersbaugh from Devo and Danny Elfman. I mean, we had a lot of great submissions. I think the problem that we were having early on was Greg Daniels had asked for lyrics. They wanted lyrics too. And I said, I don't know these people. I don't know, I don't know what to write. And that was a little problematic because everybody was doing pretty stereotypical redneck lyrics. You know, I bring my supper home in a sack and, you know, sleeping with my cousin. And that riff, that right? Raj had this little riff, and he had always had this riff, you know? He would just kind of be like one of his little things that he would play every time he would warm up or whatever. I was like, you know, we should do something with that at some point. So finally, we got our opportunity to, to use that riff. We were playing live, and I asked the crowd at the end of the show, I said, all right, we're about to submit this next song to Fox. We really need you to clap really loud at the end of it so we could get this job. It's gonna be submitted for a new Fox TV show, screaming like it's the best thing you ever heard. So he did that. We play Crowd Freaks. Thank you very, very much. That's for the King of the Hill, uh, Mr. Mike Judge, and from Wichita, Kansas. Thank you very much, everybody. Good night. We we'll hope to see you soon. And the next day, we send it in the tape. We just send it in to Hollywood, right? With the refreshments, there was a lot of things that were clever about their submission that they didn't use lyrics. They kind of did this bonanza on speed. I get a call a couple weeks later from my manager. He goes, uh, I got to put you on with a couple people. They go, who do you think you are? This is Hollywood, this is showbiz. We don't do things like this. You can't just tell a crowd to yell like it's a great thing and then we think it's a great thing. So I don't edit off the front end with Roger begging the audience to applaud and say they like it. And I just sent the full cassette. So my coaching the crowd to yell like it's the coolest thing ever was still on that tape and they heard it. And then they called me up and I was aghast. I was like, I didn't know what to say. Uh, after enough silence, I guess they, let me off the burner and they're like, we're kidding, man. We think it's great. Come to Hollywood, kid, and, and record the theme. And that's what we did. This triangle has this sound, which uh, you may recognize from the King of the Hill theme. My dad and I built this at the ranch out of well pipe. PH was using a real triangle and it was a little bit wimpy sounding. So I was like, no, I got the thing. We need to, we need to send out my, my Klein Ranch Triangle. He said, hey, can you nail me the triangle? I think it'll be perfect in this song. So I go to the FedEx office with this thing and like clank it down on the counter and go, I need to overnight this to Hollywood right now. <laughs> it was pretty clear from the moment I heard it that it just stood out. I, I mean, Mike too just loved it. He was like, yeah, that's good. Let's, let's do it. After the series was a hit and went into syndication, it pumped out a really decent amount of money, more than they made from their record deal and their publishing deal. So that little 30 seconds of music kept us alive later. You know, when you're talking about the business side of things and being an independent band with Roger Klein and the Peacemakers, we put up our house to put out a new album. You know, we, we risk it all. We really truly do have everything on the line. So it really helps to know in the back of your mind, you got a little bit of mailbox money from King of the Hill to pay the bills with, you know, in case things don't go well. 